So A, B, and C are square matrices such that A, B equals A, C. And the statement states that if A does not equal 0, then B equals C. We need to determine whether the given statement is true or false. Um, so this statement is true only if matrix A is invertible. If A is invertible, then A... Uh, if a is invertible, then A inverse exists. We can multiply both uh, sides of AB equals AC by A inverse, and we will get A inverse times AB equals A inverse times AC. So A inverse times A is 1, so this is B equals C. So if A is invertible, if A is invertible, it's true. But if A is not invertible, then this statement is false, and we can provide a counterexample. So for instance, let A be equal to negative 3, negative 4, 6, and B equals 8, 4, 5, 5. C equals 5, negative 2, 3, 1. As you can see, the determinant of matrix A is 0, so matrix A is not invertible, so determinant of A equals 2 times 6 minus negative 3 times negative 4, so it's 12 minus 12, it equals 0, so A isn't invertible. And now let's check if... Uh, a, B equals A, C in this case. So, A, B equals matrix A times matrix B and it equals 2 times 8, which is 16, minus 3 times 5, which is 15, 2 times 4, it's 8, minus 3 times 5, it's 15, um, then a negative 4 times 8 is negative 32, plus 6 times 5 is 30, negative 32 plus 30. Negative 4 times 4 is negative 16, and 6 plus 5 is 30. Let's do the calculations. We get, neg we get 1, negative 7, uh, negative 2, 14. Well, now let's see, uh, let's look at AC. So AC equals matrix A times matrix C. This is equals 2 times 5 is 10. Mm, three ta negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Um, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Then um, um, negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. 6 times 3 is 18. Negative 4 times negative 2 is 8, and 6 times 1 is 6. So here we get 1, negative 7, negative 2, 14. So as you can see, AB equals AC, and in this case, A does not equal 0, and B does not equal C. So if matrix A is not invertible, the statement is false.